Hey guys, it is Lisa, and I know I said I would share this with you guys. So today we went to um, our local store and got some potting pans. These are the Jiffy Pots, and then we got some over there too. And then some seeds. I did get all organic or in a couple of heirloom. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what we're doing. So we're going to do some squash. I think this is all squash, yeah. Zucchini and cute cucumber and then over here we've got two things or no one thing of green beans one thing of peas and then these are I, I sorted them out by um, depth that you have to plant them so these ones you have to plant two inches deep and these ones are all one inch and then all these ones are a quarter of an inch and it's kind of cool because on the back of these seed packets it tells you focus um, the depth and then how far apart they need to be planted. So that'll be kind of cool when I um, transfer them from their starter pots into the raised bed. So we have some lettuce, some tomatoes. I got two different kinds of tomatoes. Got some sweet peppers. These are some orange sweet peppers. I got two things of basil because I'm gonna be making oodles and oodles of pesto. Here are some more sweet peppers. These are the green and the red. So I have green, red, and orange. These are the cherry tomatoes. So I got some cherry tomatoes. And I got another cherry tomato because we really like the cherry tomatoes. My son popped some like candy. So that is what we have for tomatoes. Um, this all costs just the seeds and the, the one pot alone costs about $30. They are kind of expensive because they are the organic. But I was looking and you get quite a few applications. These have quite a few seeds in them, so I think I should have a pretty nice sized garden. The way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to, um, oh, I really hurt my finger. Like one of the packets went under my finger and all that son of a gun hurts. Um, I'm gonna do probably three different planting. I think I'm gonna space them out by two weeks. So I'm gonna get some started in the pots this week and then start some more in the pots in two weeks and then start some more in the pots two weeks after that so I might do three or four growing sessions just because I don't want everything to bloom at the exact same time because that would be a lot of food um, but this is my first garden so I know I told you guys I would bring you along for the ride so um, I think I will update after I get everything in the pots I do have some potting soil I'm gonna put the potting soil in the pots um, water them and let them sit overnight and then tomorrow we will actually get the seeds in there so I will share with you once we get the um, potting soil in there. See you later. All right, guys. So I have, pardon my child in the background. He's tired. I have uh, filled up all 20 of my little pots and then two of the ones that I'm going to be using for my herbs. Um, I them. So you put them all in a tub. Oh, okay. Um, and you're going to water them. No, you don't. All right, so we're gonna get those nice and wet. I'm gonna put the rest of the water down here in the bottom. So that'll get soaked up. And then you're gonna let that sit for 24 hours and then tomorrow we will continue and we'll put our seeds in. All right, see you tomorrow. All right guys, it has been a day and these have sat. So now we're gonna plant um, I don't have little sticks to plant to put in to tell me what everything is. So I kind of, sorry, um, did like a little diagram on a piece of paper of like where my plants are in my tote. And then, so I'm just going to write each one in so when I go to grab them, I can, um, after I plant them, when I go to grab them, I can know what's what. So I'm going to take my pencil now and I'm going to make 
holes in each one of them. Not very far down because most of these are um, a quarter inch in depth, but one of them is like one or two inches. So I just got to look at the packets and see how far down I need to plant each one of them. One of these entire containers is going to be basil because I'm making lots and lots of pesto. And then this is going to be half tomatoes. I think zucchini over here. I don't know. I still got to do it. So I'll show you my paper after I'm done with that. All right, so I have, all right, so now I have like laid out basically what all my stuff is. Um, the top four are gonna be beans, that entire thing is gonna be basil, that entire thing is gonna be tomatoes. Um, these two peas, squash, cucumber, cucumber, zucchini, 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 bell peppers, orange, bell peppers, orange, bell peppers. These are the green and tomatoes. Okay. Hey, Elam. Um, and then all four of those are lettuce. So I'm gonna go ahead and I poked holes in these ones that are gonna be two inches deep, two inches deep and an inch deep. So now I will go ahead and start putting the beans in. All right, so I measured these ones are all two inches deep, these are one inches deep, and the rest of them are a quarter inch deep. So I put like three or four seeds per hole, and now I'm gonna take some more topsoil and kind of put it on top and then water it and put it in the sun and we are done. So that looks like it's gonna be my garden for the year. Well, at least for this plant. I think I'm gonna do a plant again in like two or three weeks. So I've got stuff pretty much blooming all year round. All right, let me know if you have any questions.